nana here so in this record we are going to see about how to add multiple bus into your resource or and so they will be appearing on while creating the contracts actually so we'll now go on and have a look at it now so we're going to learn this <clears throat> so first is what i will now create my uh, resource or get i'm going to point let us now create a resource or and go to the setup and then and then let me create a resource or So click on it. I'm going to do a search and find one. So I will now create a resource of and manage fine. internal resource org. I go to manage internal resource organization. Fine. Let me create a new org. New resource org I'm going to create. Fine. Click on plus one. Uh, uh, I will now say not option one. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do a new one now. Fine. To choose the option to for create a new org. So go to click on next. I've already tested with the resource org one. So I will now make a new one now. Fine the p01 underscore uh, resource underscore org underscore find one. So go there. So give it find one. usage. I will not go there. So click on the plus one, then I'm going to use it. So go there. I'm not going to use it for contracts organization. Right? The contract organization can be marketing, sales, or service. Right? So since we are working on procurement contracts, I'm going to use what? Contract organization. <clears throat> so click on finish by which my, my resource org is now ready. Right? My resource org two is now ready. And click on finish. So now we are going to add business units to the resource org. So click on it. I will now go to this place and click on it. I will now go to the home icon. Fine, go there. Go to the others now. Fine. Click on the home icon at the top. And then you go to the others now. You go to others now. Fine. Go to the others. And then here you go to what? Uh, the You have to add what? The business directory has to come. It is not coming here now. Fine. The business directory is not coming. So what I will do is I will now click on the navigator on the left hand side. So here it is not coming. Fine. Click on the navigator on the left hand side. So here in the others, you will be finding the business directory coming. Fine. Click on the others now. So in the others, what am I going to see? The resource directory. That is not coming. Resource directory is not coming. So click on the resource directory. <clears throat> so click on the resource directory. And then here it is not going to come. Fine. So in this place, what am I going to click on the task list? And then you go to view organization. You click on the view organization. So here I will now query for the T01. <clears throat> so click on search now. Fine. I created two hours now. Fine. So I'm not going to demonstrate the second hour. <clears throat> So T01 has go to ask. So I will not choose this. Yeah, no more. So click on editing. Go to editing. So go there. So in the business unit, let me add some business units first. Click on the business unit. Thank you. Come plus one. I will now add some business unit. Drop it on. Thank you. US1. And go to add. I will now add user and user unit. And then I will now give a plus one. I will now add UK business unit also. UK. And go to add. So you could be new. So I've added these two business units in this resource org. So click on save. And then uh, it is not done. Okay. US one. So this is the default one, and then uh, the other one is not a default. This is not default. This is a primary one. Okay. You can have multiple business units. Now other uh, business unit is added. So you go to the members now. Click on the members. <clears throat> so here I can add a resource member as such. Okay. In this place, whatever we can add a resource member. Okay. Click on plus now. Okay. I will now go and then add a resource member. So here, what happens? I have a member called EMP one comma. P zero one one. So the one <clears throat> resource is what uh, resource name is P zero one one. And then I make a search. You now thank you for search. No coming from the employee one. Thank you for looking at Now you made as a resource find So go to the roles. Thank you come plus one. I will now give a role to you. <clears throat> so we have to give a role. Fine. Drop it down. And then in the contracts, I will now make him as what <clears throat> one of the roles. Okay. I will now add him as a contract manager. Thank you for the contact manager. Okay. So is the manager. Thank you for so this is the employee fund. So on the resource or two, this employee, the resource is added as a contract manager. It's all done. So we have completed it. <clears throat> so the, an active role for the resource is already existing. So what happens to override this? What is not possible? So we already added this. Let me delete that first of all. Let me delete it. So we are unable to add it here. So we are unable to add it. So let us now go on the delete that existing resource. So click on the home icon. <clears throat> I will now click on the home account and go there. So we are, I already added one resource. Fine, right? So go to the setup and manager. I will now go to the manage resources and then remove that one. And go to the players. <clears throat> Not there. Fine. I will now go to the users and then do it. Fine, right? Manage users. I will now go there. Fine. Manage. Fine. Percentage. There are multiple ways of doing it. Manage resources also you can do it. Manage users also you can do it. Fine, right? Fine. Let me query the user now. <clears throat> go there. Is the T011 entering now? So let me open it up and then remove those resources and then the org. You have a resource, so make it as null now. So go there. 
is not allowing any time. There is no, they had to select one of them, fine. There is no blank at all here. So in this organization, whatever they drop down, I don't know see whether I can make it as blank and then do wire that others not. Fine. So go there. Mm. It is not accepting it. Fine. Again, must be done So we will not try to change it to cost, uh, what happens, uh, T01, fine, and then give a tab, no, fine. So the resource R2, I have to put drop it on down three. So make a search, no, fine. Click on search, no, do it. So click on search. So T01, I will not choose the resource R2 for it now. <clears throat> so resource R2 is coming, fine. Click on OK. So T01 resource R2, fine. It is going to be a contract manager. So we are now added these two things. So I click on save and close. So this has to appear on the others tab region when you are going to query the organization. <clears throat> so we are not in the point. So it is not done. So click on done and then come out of it. And then here I will not go to the navigator on the left hand side. <clears throat> I will not go to the navigator on the left hand side. So click on the navigator on the left hand side. Go to the others and then go to the resource directory. I go to the resource directory. And then view organization then have a look at it. So you click on it. And then you go there, you go to the view organization, go to the view organization, and then organization is what? P01, fine. click on search now. <clears throat> you go to search for it. So this is the one now, fine, click on it. So once we need it, whatever you get to see, you can see this now, fine. So the resource membership is what? P01 EMP1 is a member of this now. And then if you go to the business units, so you have got two members. Fine. Now here's one business with the default one. So go to the members now, click on the members. So this is the member one. So that's it, fine. So is now visible now. Fine. If you go on them, create a contract. Automatically, these two business units has to default over there. Thank you. That's all. <coughs> so click on it. So click on done now. <coughs> now, there. now there. So I'll now go to the home icon and then I'll now create a contract. Let us see whether these two business units are coming or not. <coughs> contract management. And go to this place. And then I will now go to the contract management. So I'll now have to go to the contract management and then click on contracts and then let me create a contract. So once when you create a contract, I think that these two has to come over here. So click on plus. And then US1 business unit is the default one. Oh God, it is not coming. Okay, it's not coming. <laughs> and that has that was the previous one now. Fine. I don't know why that is coming over now. Fine. Right. That is the previous one. So now you are able to choose one of the business units actually. Fine. US1 and then UK are the recently added one. But uh, now see both of them are not coming yet. Fine. You will cancel them. <clears throat> that was the previous one. I did it now. Fine. Or the cost or uh, this one now. But again, it is coming now. Fine. It should not come at all. It should not come at all. So only these two things has to come. But it is now coming in the list of values. That should not come in the list of values at all. Whatever you recently added, those two things has to be only coming. So at least we have learned about how to add multiple business units for your contract creation actually fine, through a resource or resource. So maybe in the managed resources, we'll not go on and check my friend. We'll see whether anything is there or not. Set up I will not go to the managed resources and then make a check now. <clears throat> I'm searching. I go to the manager resources. I go to the manager resources. Manager resources. Let me go to the resource. My T zero T one one entering. So this is the one now. Fine. Click on edit. <clears throat> so once I edit it, here it's in the top. It has to show me the resource or also. <clears throat> so once I edit it, whatever it has to show me the resource or also. And this is the one when the organization is what the resource are we're not showing over here we're not showing over here and then uh what are the, what are the roles it don't show us a contract manager roles and contract administrator roles and over so and then contract manager two roles are being given now and over so let us not try to delete it and then see when it is possible to delete it when you're only going to end it now and maybe because of this is maybe coming or not because that uh, one has been added in the previous one actually recently added this now fine that's not <clears throat> member administrator is a manager now fine so let us not put yesterday's date as a what I will not put yesterday's date as the end date now. On the same close. So this manager only has been recently added. That has been added before actually. I have added that. And go that one seven close. So no, that is now getting ended up. I click on save and close. And go that one. Maybe if I log out and log in, I think that that view may go out now, and that may be the reason. I think. <clears throat> that point down. So I have to log out and log in to see the changes. Now. It has now log out and log in, and then afterwards go on and get a contact. I think probably that uh, other view, the third view, will not be coming up. So click on confirm now. So after making changes, what happens? We have to log out on. So log out and log in. <clears throat> now what happens? I go to the what's called contract management. I go to the contract management and then I go to the create contracts. And then I have to only have to you know, the US1 business unit is the default one. Yes. I have to log out on that, I guess. 
So is one is coming, then you can drop down or double check. So this completes association of multiple BUs into your resource or then going to the resource directory and then modifying it. That's it. So hope that you are enjoying my now. So bye for now, and then we'll meet on the next one.